Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today record, The Flash, The Three Faces of Mr. Big for 1975. So let's get started. Hey. Central City Police, Malloy here. A dog did what? Look, lady, we're very busy. Why don't... Oh, I saw it. Okay. Central City Police, Malloy here. Yes, Captain. Central City Bank? Right, right away. What's up, Malloy? Another bank heist. Same M.O. as in the others. Three weird characters moving so fast, nobody could give a description. This is getting big. Yeah, maybe too big. Captain wants to flash in on it immediately. At that moment, Barry Allen was passing the Central City Bank in his lab mobile. His super-fast vision had caught a glimpse of three strange figures making a fast getaway. Wow! Those guys are as fast as I am. Gotta look into this. Stopping the car, the young police scientist steps into a doorway, presses a secret button on the ring on his finger, and out leaps a red uniform. Within seconds, the familiar figure of the Flash super speeds after the three robbers. Hey, they've disappeared. I've lost them. <laughs> Too much for even the mighty Flash. Right, little man? That voice. <laughs> Where is it coming from? And how does he know where I am? In case you're wondering who I am, tune in on any television or radio station tonight. I'm preempting all communications at 7 o'clock. You've got to think big, little man, if you want to keep up with me. <laughs> at precisely 7 o'clock, Flash and Captain Clark turn on every TV and radio in police headquarters. People of America, this is Mr. Big. Mr. Big? So that's his name. And he is on every station. Listen. And listen well. Tonight, I am taking control of this country. Tomorrow, the whole planet. Phew, he sure talks big. Should you doubt my ability to do so, look up at the crescent moon. Now, watch. Good Lord. The tip of the crescent. It's been tipped off. Probably by a super laser beam. It must have made a crater 500 miles wide to be visible to the naked eye at this distance. Now that you have seen evidence of my power, I give you exactly one hour to acknowledge me as your leader. Fail at your peril. I will, I must, I shall bring order to this disordered planet. Hail to the new order. Where have I heard that before? I don't think he's bluffing, and I doubt if even you, the Flash, can stop him. Maybe not, but I'm sure gonna give it one heck of a try. Meanwhile, deep underground, somewhere outside the city, Mr. Big waits in his secret headquarters like a spider waits for a fly. <laughs> At any moment now, our flighty friend, the Flash, following the obvious trail I left for him, like those childish bank jobs, will come crashing in, thinking to surprise us. With him out of the way, nothing can stop me. <laughs> ah, there he is, you see? Welcome, my friend. Huh? I can't see you. Where are you? You will see me in due time, but first, meet my creation. Kino, the kinetic man, the quintessence of kinetic energy. It's one of the three weirdos I saw near the bank. Now, Kino, get it. Wow, he's fast. Got me in a whirlpool of motion, spinning like a top. Very good, Kino. And now, my second creation, Magno, the magnetic man. Show him what you can do, Magno. The second weirdo, sending out some kind of magnetic field force, can't move. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and now, my fine, foolish friend, have a look at the third and greatest of my creations, Electro, the Electric Man. Shoo, does he look mean? It was Electro's power that tore that piece out of the moon. He will be your executioner. Now that I've met all your flunkies, how about a look at you? You don't sound like the shy type. These flunkies, as you call them, are but extensions of me. The three faces of Mr. Big, you might say. The most perfect robots ever made. Robots? Then they must be activated by electronic circuits. If I vibrate hard enough, I can break those circuits and put Kino and Magno out of commission. Here goes. Concentrating all his energy, Flash sets up a vibration force so great it shatters the circuitry of the two robots, and they collapse into heaps of wire. That did it! I'm free! You fool! You've destroyed them! Now you will be destroyed! Electro! Kill! Oh, no, you 
don't. Moving at super speed, the Scarlet Speedster crashes into Electro, driving him back against the metal plate in the wall. There is a tremendous flash of electricity, an explosion, and Electro crumbles into a jumbled mass of electronic circuitry as the metal panel slides upward, revealing a secret control room full of electronic equipment. And Mr. Big, whimpering like a child. You? Mr. Big? headquarters. Hi, Captain. What's the latest? Hi, Barry. You just missed the flash. He filled me in on the last moments of Mr. Big. Yeah, what a tragedy. That magnificent head with the greatest thinking machine of all time inside, trapped in the feeble body of a small child, surviving only on an energy transfer from the robots. When the source was cut off, his powers dwindled down to total impotence and, hey, how do you know all that? Or, uh, uh, I bumped into the Flash as he was leaving. He told me. Well, so long, Chief. Iris has a good meal cooking. Don't want to keep her waiting. Know what I mean? <laughs> oh, boy, that was a close one. So that was The Flash, The Three Faces of Mr. Big from 1975. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another record coming out real soon.